Back on the Carlos Smith Club, and he's trying to show as a way to uh, keep the momentum that has been a game changer for the political landscape of North and South Dakota and uh, Minnesota. Chronicled in a book that I'm uh, so passionate to be able to uh, you know, tell a little bit of the story of the full side men along the Tea Party Trail in this book, Grassroots Nonsense Action Agenda for America. We started a new feature yesterday, and the feature is a daily update on the Tea Party Caucus. And uh, most importantly, uh, the Tea Party Caucus uh, efforts to keep the successes of the Tea Party alive and well, number one, uh, to date, but most importantly, saying, what do we do uh, going forward? And uh, they have announced a series of meetings to listen. Love that concept. Something that sometimes the elected leaders forget to do. But to listen to folks to try and uh, shape uh, what's next for the Tea Party movement all across the North Dakota. The first of those events will take place literally in every corner of North Dakota, the Grand Force Guest House International, uh, tomorrow night from 6 to 8 p.m. And uh, Gary Emerson going to join daily. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, the first event will be a Thursday and then weekly events. So we'll have different uh, you know, feedback to bring you from these meetings as well. But most importantly, hope you uh, attend when there's one in your neighborhood, in your neck of the woods, and uh, participate and uh, be a part of the program. Gary, welcome back. So let's talk about the agenda, what you, uh, I hope you'll accomplish. Guest House International, the old town house, downtown Grand Forks, 6 to 8 uh, tomorrow night. What's the, what's the number one objective with the, uh, the first of the several of these gatherings? Well, you know, Scott, one of the biggest things we've had is there's a lot of things that we've been doing on what we're all intending to do. You know, we're not speaking for all Tea Party members across the state of Georgia. We're working with the organizers and 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 we're working with the organiz
Leon yeah, has a call, a uh, comment, so you're on the Common Sense Club, and he's got his bill. Leon, go ahead. Hello, Mr. Chairman, um, and Mr. Eminem. Thank you for accompanying the, uh, the caucus cause. I think it's awesome. I think it is exactly what we needed. Uh, I, what I wanted to speak to, though, and I, I just couldn't get to my phone quick enough, was the Rick Bird comment and the controversy over the comparison and my not and Katrina, if that's okay. It's, of course it is. And I don't know if it's fair to call it a controversy or not. I guess it's, uh, it's one the Democrats are trying to use or turn it into a controversy. I'm not sure anyone other than, uh, you know, political partisans that are trying to grasp the straws to find anything they can to, to criticize uh, Rick Berger are uh, concerned about it. But uh, what, what, what were your thoughts on the comment? Well, and, and I think I've spoken to you about this before. I, I am from um, Louisiana. I know the culture down there, and, and it upsets me, and, and I've said that before, how the government... The way these people are coddled, the way they are dependent on the government hurts them. And in my eyes, you can see exactly the opposite. Now, that's not controversial. That's a problem. And it's a problem that's becoming more relevant today as government becomes even bigger and even more intrusive, and they want to help everybody, bring everybody under an umbrella. When catastrophes happen, you want to be able to look to your neighbor, not to someone on the hill in Washington. And I, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. And I think uh, that's a lot more prevalent in Minot, North Dakota, than it was uh, in uh, New Orleans. Absolutely. And, and the Gulf Coast. And I just think that's actually true. And uh, I guess if you want to make something out of that, you can when you're saying, well, I think that's so the folks down there or, or whatever. But that's. I think, Gary, maybe you can weigh in on this. But that's what I think most folks are tired of. Sort of a, a gotcha moment to go, aha! Oh, he's, he's been critical of those people that went through a hurricane. No, it's just simply standing up for people here and how they're less so looking for a handout than the folks were down there. And uh, I think uh, it goes to everything we stand for in the, in the Tea Party movement to say, you know, uh, cradle to grave is not what uh, the founding fathers envisioned for this country. And uh, unfortunately, it's, it's where we've. Uh, with that. And that, that would be a, a sentiment, I think, shared by a large percentage of folks that are part of the Tea Party movement. Agree or disagree? Well, um, I would say one of the issues with Rick's comments is he's talking about a good comparison because while well, I really agree with you, the fact that living at the government, uh, the whole mindset of what government is all our problems, which is all my bad, which is people, you know, the people who are living in Here too, Gary. The email is Gary is a perfect example of how the Tea Party 
has been co-opted by the Republican Party. Gary's the Republican Party insider and leader, former head of the party. I thought Tea Party was supposed to be grassroots, not some organ of the Republican Party. I can't see why Tea Partiers support a party who's, uh, you know, a beltway elitist or possibly insulting Tea Partiers and consumers. I challenge you to ask Gary about it. I've obviously accepted the challenge, but, uh, you know, is this about co-opting the Tea Party movement? Some people may hear a chairman of a party and think uh, of the party boss, but in, in the case of uh, your, your role, and, uh, and, and, and uh, very often uh, in North Dakota, that's a boss. I mean, you, you, you were a volunteer chairman, right? I mean, you full, full time as a, as a private sector entrepreneur and, uh, and volunteering your time for, uh, for, the, for the cause, right? To get together uh, are tomorrow night, Grand Forks, 6 to 8 p.m., Guest House International, downtown Grand Forks, and they are literally weekly all summer long. A lot of uh, opportunities for folks to have their voice heard, and uh, and part of this is uh, Gary is one member of an organizing committee of the Tea Party Caucus uh, that has representation from all these different Tea Party groups around the state. So it's, uh, it's uh, a, lot, a lot of folks in that group that I really respect and appreciate so much the fact that they are the hearts in the right place on this one, without question. You know, you have to do this and out there anytime. Uh, anybody organizes anything, but I think it's what we absolutely need right now to harness this genius of the uh, Tea Party and uh, make sure that it remains effective into the future. Gary, we'll uh, talk to you tomorrow and uh, get set for a uh, great event tomorrow night. Grand Forks, thanks a bunch. Yeah,